Welcome to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today live. So many of our friends and colleagues, it's a busy, busy conference this year. Uh, I'm pleased to have you joining me, um, Louis Fialo, uh, Vice President of China Telecoms America. Thank, thank you, you so much for joining. No, it's, uh, it's my honor. Thank you for having me here. Today. So what are your thoughts so far on the conference? Well, overall, I think it's, uh, it's a good sign because, you know, I attended last year and uh, the attendance wasn't that great. But this time it seems to be really a lot of energy. And more importantly, I'm starting to see like new types of companies outside of the traditional telecom companies, you know, focused on other areas of like IoT and other areas. So that just tells me there's continued innovation in our industry. So I'm very positive about what's happening here today. Yeah, it's it seems, I don't know, if the sense that I get is it's sort of bigger than ever. I think yeah, that, yeah. you know, last year, uh, for a lot of reasons, it was we were sort of easing our way back um, into in-person events, but this year, I mean, better better than ever. So, yeah, I, I, I echo your sentiments. I think that uh, it's an exciting time to be here. Uh, and, and so, for our viewers who may not know, can you tell us a little bit about CTA, China Telecoms America? Yeah, yeah, we're the uh, America's region uh, uh, operator for China Telecom. Uh, we've been around. Uh, this is our twenty-first year. Um, and we are providing international broadband services to uh, U.S. multinationals that go to China and Asia, as well as uh, we also operate with uh, U.S. Uh, or international telecom operators to help them solve their problems in other parts of the world where we have uh, resources. And uh, we've been uh, really a full service provider. And, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the changes we've gone. We've gone. Yeah. Uh, but overall, we're very, uh, you know, uh, an organization that's here to help a lot of us. Yeah. So, I mean, you you hinted we would talk about it. Why don't Why don't we just start with you know, it's January 2023. I always feel like this is such a good time yeah. to to come together for these conversations, because we can you know we can talk about what what do you feel is is coming up. What what can we expect to hear from you? Yeah. So uh, before I tell you what we're gonna do in 2023. Yeah. In 2022, we decided as a company that we wanted to sort of refocus our business a little bit. And by that, I mean is that we decided to move from being the underlying primary provider in the U.S. to being an overlay provider. OK, so um, taking advantage of some of the resources and capabilities our parent company has to offer. Right. So what we've done is we started building out our SDA WAN solutions. Uh, we started building out our cloud services. Um, uh, and as a result of that, we'll be making some further announcements this year that talks about that. And what our focus is really going to be is to help uh, provide, you know, type of catalog of solutions, uh, take advantage of some of the IoT technology that we already currently have, and, and bring in other capabilities that we have through our parent company in China using 5G. It's really a complete uh, shift away from just providing point to point solutions and stuff. So, taking care of data centers, clouds, everything. So, we have a much more robust and compelling story for today's buyer. Right. And so, you mentioned, you know, the, you know, selection of services, um, excuse me, <laughs> provided by your parent company, um, really the, the lead cloud services provider in, in China. And, and now, as you start to bring those back to the Americas, what, what sorts of insights can you leverage and, and what's that process look like? So, so first of all, we have a product called Tiny, which is the largest uh, cloud hybrid cloud infrastructure provider in the, in the probably in the world, but definitely in China. And what when I say this is that Tiny is a is a platform that allows not only to take advantage of our cloud infrastructure, but allows us to take advantage of all our our partners' cloud infrastructures. Um, in, not only in China, but internationally. So today we have connections with 80 different public cloud infrastructures around the world. Yep. We have 144 data centers that are tied to this uh, tiny cloud service. And then we do this in 48 different uh, international municipalities, plus everything we have in China. 
So that's a big investment that we've done. And what we've done in the U.S. is started building out some of those capabilities. And that's what we're going to be starting to offer to link it into all together to this larger cloud emission. Yeah. And so, so how does that, how do you see that helping businesses, you know, with their, what they're doing with their edge cloud services to just make things smoother, to, to have the access to that? Yeah, and that's, that's another thing I forgot to mention is our, we have an edge communications platform that ties to the cloud and that edge communication platform allows you to have whatever type of you're using to connect to us yeah. but once you're in our cloud okay we can pass you on to different cloud providers we can do the load balancing we can pass back from one location to the x we can take you from a data center to a cloud infrastructure so what we've done is we've built a cloud on top of the cloud infrastructure that we've that of all the partners that we're using. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. You don't have to go out and, and negotiate agreements with multiple providers. You don't have to worry about geographic issues, you know, as uh, moving into China versus moving into Singapore. You know, we have those capabilities already built out for you. Yeah. And, and so let's go back then to, we, we sort of were looking at 2022 and, and the adoption of cloud and bringing, you know, all of these great capabilities you know, to the Americas. But so what what next? What should we expect to hear from you as the year progresses? Yeah, so um, we have three main initiatives for 2023. The The first one is we're, uh, we built out our own cloud infrastructure that's under CTA brand and our CTA resources. And we are also uh, building out, uh, we're going to be introducing in the U.S. or in America's region, an IoT solution, okay? Yeah. Uh, we have a, a, a sort of 5.0, which uh, today has I, I, I over 150,000 <laughs> And uh, those capabilities to enable in working G integrated all into one solution because through uh, digitalization. Uh, enterprises go through that process. They need these solutions, and they not only want it in the U.S. or in the Americas, but they also want to be able to connect it and make it seamless throughout the world. And that's where our value is. Yeah. So before we wrap up, what are you what are you hoping for for this week? I mean, we're we're in day two. It, to some, I had to, I asked someone this morning, are we on day two or five? Or because it already feels like you know so much has already happened. We're Monday morning, we have a couple days left. What are you, what are you hoping for the most? Well, you know, it's it's always, uh, ETC is a great time of the year to kick off. Besides being in Hawaii, obviously, uh, it's also, so to reconnect, you know, yeah. most companies uh, go through their planning phases at the end of the year, continues a little bit into this phase, but this is where you actually have a plan. And now you need to uh, convey the message to your partners and right. your customers, and this is a great opportunity for this. So for us, it's, you know, starting off with working with JSA TV, yes. uh, but continuing to work with other and communicating what we're doing, we're doing it, um, and, you know, sort of educate everybody and continue right. to do that process. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And and so for those folks that couldn't make it to Honolulu and, and want to connect with you potentially after the show, where can they go to find you? Yeah, so you can find us at www dot ctamericas.com you can find us also on social media on uh, china telecom americas on linkedin and on twitter i believe we have other sites but i can't remember but uh yeah. those are the main ones so I, I encourage everybody to go out and reach out to us yeah fantastic thank you so much for joining thank our you, first interview of the show <laughs> yeah. it was a great a great start to it a great start to uh the conversations the conversations will continue for the remainder of today and and on for the re remainder of the week as well uh, so thank you viewers for tuning in thank you again uh, for joining us and we'll see you shortly for uh, the next round of jsa tv live here at at ptc in honolulu hawaii mahalo